Woo! Oh, is that an animal? Insane. Oh. I'm speechless. Oh. This is disgusting. Welcome back to PSG Show. We're here back again with Naomi, one of the top real estate agent in Sacramento County alone. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, today we're in Woodland, California, and um, actually a pretty sad story. The seller passed away unexpectedly, um, actually walking, and got hit by a car. So here we are today at her condo. Do a little walkthrough just to Walk see the through. condition. Yep. Because at the end of the day, we want to help the people who left with the property, don't know what to do with it. When Naomi came across this uh, property, she's like, hey, I got to call Paul, call property sales group, see if we can put this all together because we want to do the best we can for the sellers and do actually help them out to take the burden off of their shoulders because they're already going through a lot. Absolutely. So we're going to walk this property together. We're going to see the condition of it and it's going to be a big factor if we're going to pick up this deal or not because the numbers are tight and we want to make sure that at the end of the day that we come out with the right numbers. What do you think, Naomi? I hope we can make it work. I think, I think we'll be working together again. <laughs> So I'm here with David, our operations manager. We're gonna walk this property. This home actually two bedroom, one and a half bath, sitting at about 1,086 square foot. Our goal is to be within $40,000 on the budget on here. And yes, 40. And the reason why this, this is an HOA property. It's in the condo, which means that everything that has to do with outside gets covered by HOA. So we don't have to replace AC. We don't have to replace anything from outside. All we gotta do is make sure the inside looks beautiful. So David, our budget is about 40K. We're gonna walk it, it's about a thousand square foot, about $40 per square foot on a cosmetic. What do you think, can we make this happen? I think we can. Yeah, that was actually before we saw the property. I know it looks bad now, but we just have to remove the demo, get the dumpsters going out there, and then we just gotta double check our HVAC and plumbing and electrical systems, but I think it should be good, and it will be good to go, guys. I cannot wait to show you guys, so check it out. Let me know if you like it. It might be scary, so stay tuned. Let's go. Clearly right now, we're getting ready. We're prepping ourselves for the day of unforeseen. Here we go again, let's go take a look at it. As we're walking into the property, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Look at all this stuff around. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, there's newspapers since 2005. Oh yeah, baby. Really happy that we're able to get Slavic with us because he was a, tro a true trooper. He went all the way in. He did everything. Let's go take a look at it. Let's see what it's inside. This is how people actually live. After you. After you. <laughs> like, maybe I am a little bit underdressed because we can see Naomi fully dressed up in a complete suit. Even the respirator that I have on my face I can still smell inside my mouth. I'm about to vomit. Oh my goodness. Uh, the second I walked in, looking at it right now, I'm thinking like to myself, there's no way I'm gonna be able to put this deal together. I, I can't even get inside because it's so packed. Hey, can we salvage the cabinets? Yes, we can. I mean, it does have like a thousand spiders on it, but I mean, heck, they're dead. Look at those cobwebs. There's at least 100 spiders for there. And I want to apologize right away. I'm sorry we're not able to get you even better footage. It was really, really hard to get in and see the property. Even our camera person who was doing it was scared to get in. <laughs> we were scared to catch something that wasn't caught, caught since 2005. Just look at this cobwebs. It's unbelievable. Looking at it right now and we're like, guys, move, move, let's go. But we can't even get in because it's four feet tall. There's stuff laying everywhere. The second story is completely packed. You can't even open the doors. I'm trying to go through, but there's just no way. So at this point, when I walked in, I thought it's gonna be 40K, more like three times that. So we're like, it'd be, it'd be much more because the renovation cost is completely out of uh, proportion. It's much more. You can't even go through. I'm stepping and I can see cockroaches on the floor. This is crazy. And I'm saying that's crazy so much is because I'm clearly in shock. This is probably one of the worst properties I've ever seen in my life. This thing is barely filtering the air. I can barely breathe. Oh my God. Oh my God. The thing is you haven't even seen the living room and the second story completely shot. We try pushing the doors and we can't even open the doors. It's completely closed up with a bunch of debris and a bunch of personal belongings. Look at this. 
even our project manager says, please, Paul, let's not buy this. Because you know what? Like, I'm not going to be the one that cleaning it. We're going to hire the crew. But you guys know me. I really do, truly do care about our team. So we have our project managers right now, and they can't even get through. Every pro time we look at the property, we measure to be able to get the square footage and plans of it. And then we measure for it to be able to understand how we're going to structure for an actual permit because we have to draw plans. So we have what's called AutoCAD, and we have the measuring devices. So we put it together on a special device to create create the plan. These type of homes, sometimes when you walk it, uh, you walk it and you actually think, is it gonna be a deal maker or a deal break? To be honest with you, it's gonna be a lot more than anticipated renovation. I mean, you literally gotta gut the whole thing. I mean, it probably has like two to three dumpsters alone inside. Ooh. And that was only first floor. This thing is two stories. I don't know, guys. Right? <laughs> We might have to honestly pass on it. It's just way too much for the price. I think we were originally at 130. We're thinking about 40K right now. If I would be surprised, it'd be about 80,000 in it. But the house needs everything. Think of what I mean, everything. I mean, you got to replace everything. I mean, the subfloors, floors, the plumbing, the electrical, I mean, everything. Because the smell is so heavy. When we walked the house the other one we did in Folsom, honestly, it wasn't as bad. It wasn't as bad. We couldn't even get into like 10% of the property. There's just so much clutter all over and I'm telling you like I probably stepped on look at that 15 to 20 spiders if not more it is nuts really it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one to to do it comment down below let me know would you guys pick this deal up or would you pass pick or pass I mean what do you think like you know, initially we thought oh it's gonna be easy but like once you actually experience like walk in for the first time what are your thoughts I mean like <laughs> it's rough um I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. And the crazy thing is people actually live in these type of circumstances. Even with this on, I could still smell through yeah, it. I same. had to like shove this up even yeah. closer because it the smell is so intense. There's a lot of trash in there. Just, I just feel very, very sad I for do person. Too. I feel very sad that someone Because they actually living. live there every single day and then we just walked in on the left, there's like literally a thousand spiders. Oh, I mean yeah. like that's what we saw from the first second we walked in. Yeah. Imagine what's on top. And it smells so bad. Like I'm honestly like I don't even know what I was smelling. Oh! This is disgusting. The second one we pulled out to the house in Woodland, we thought that we're gonna make it or we're gonna be within our budget of a 40K when we anticipated to make this deal work. Unfortunately, we walked the property. The second we walked in, oh boy, we knew we we're gonna we we're gonna be over our heads on this one. Our budget right away tripled because as we were walking in, the smell was insane it was really hard to get into the first floor the house was jam-packed with goods and stuff that the seller had for many many years i don't know how people lived inside in those conditions definitely not healthy but it just gives you a little more perspective of how people actually live on the flip side we end up not picking up the deal because the price that we wanted to lock up the deal for it wasn't financially there for the sellers they wanted to obviously hire so we end up parting our ways we're gonna go out there and look for another deal and plug you in and show you the details behind help us get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year show some love subscribe hit the like notification and then of course like always i'll see you in the next one